This portion of CardioSource Video News is supported by the makers of Zarelto. Welcome to ACC 12. I'm Dr. Andy Martin with CardioSource Video News. And you know that one of the more interesting trials really had to do with a natural randomized trial of long-term lowering of LDL. And to explain that trial is the lead author, Dr. Brian Ferentz from Wayne State University School of Medicine. Brian, thanks for uh, joining me. Thank you so very tell much. So tell me a little bit about it. It's a fascinating trial. Oh, thank you. By way of background, multiple randomized trials have demonstrated that lowering LDL cholesterol with a statin reduces the risk of major coronary events, but persons being treated with a statin still experience a significant residual risk of events. And what's interesting about the statin trials is that the mean age at the time of randomization is 63. Right. So, so which means that persons in those trials have already been exposed to a lifetime of LDL and have developed some underlying atherosclerotic burden. Because coronary disease is a chronic progressive disease that begins very early in life and then develops slowly over several decades time before becoming clinically manifest, we aim to test the hypothesis that lowering LDL cholesterol much earlier in life, before the development of atherosclerosis, could either prevent or substantially delay the progression of atherosclerosis and thereby significantly improve the risk, uh, the benefit of therapies that lower LDL cholesterol. But you're talking about lowering it naturally, not uh, right. with pharma, pharma kinetics. Exactly, so the ideal way to test that hypothesis would be with a randomized trial, but unfortunately the cost and logistical complexity of following a very large number of young people forward is, is prohibitive. So as an alternative, we relied on the, on the principle of Mendelian randomization to conduct a series of natural randomized trials that can, to estimate the benefit of lowering LDL beginning early in life. Tell me what, tell me, explain to me and the right. viewers what Mendelian randomiza randomization so is. So multiple polymorphisms are known to be associated with small differences in LDL. Right. And each of those polymorphism is allocated randomly at the time of conception. So inheriting an allele that's associated with a lower LDL is analogous to being randomly allocated to a treatment that lowers LDL beginning at birth, and by contrast, inheriting the other allele is analogous to being randomized to usual care. So comparing the risk of coronary disease among persons with and without such a polymorphism sure. should be analogous to a randomized trial. Excellent explanation. What did, what did you all find? Well, we found, we, we evaluated nine SNPs in six different genes. Uh, specifically to look for some consistency of effect. And what we found is that the, the, the effect per unit lower LDL cholesterol on the risk of coronary disease was essentially the same for all of those, which would imply that the benefit of long-term reductions in LDL is largely independent of the mechanism by which LDL is lowered. And what we found is that for each unit, a, a prolonged exposure to lower LDL beginning early in life is associated with a three-fold greater benefit for each unit lower LDL than treatment with a statin started later in life. That's, per, that's pretty dramatic, isn't it? And it may suggest that, it may explain some of the residual risk among persons being treated with a statin, because if they have been exposed to LDL for the whole of their lifetimes and developed an atherosclerotic burden, even intensive LDL lowering at that point may merely serve to stabilize the plaque or minimally regress it, but that plaque can still disrupt still and cause there. symptoms or events. By contrast, if we begin to lower LDL much earlier, we may actually be able to prevent the, the, the development of atherosclerosis, or at least substantially delay its progress, and that should translate, and appears to translate, into a somewhat dr more dramatic clinical benefit. In, in, in just a uh, moment, we've got to, we have, uh, have to close this, because it's really, really interesting. Does this have implications for early treatment of elevated LDL in, in kids or teens? Th that's really important, because, because we evaluated nine SNPs in six different genes, each of which lower the, uh, or affect LDL by a different mechanism, and the effect was the same among all of those. It implies that the, the, the mechanism by which we lower LDL is independent of the benefit. And that would suggest that diet and exercise are probably as, as effective as statins or other medicines when started Very early in life and when, when measured per unit L, uh, lower LDL. But I think as a larger implication, it does the dramatic potential re reduction in risk by keeping one's LDL low the whole of the, one's lifetime should provide new emphasis to sort of encourage healthy diet and lifestyle and awareness of LDL cholesterol levels in children and young people so that they can uh, you know, take reasonable steps to keep their LDL low. So, so no, nothing trumps uh, healthy lifestyle. Right, exactly. The, the, what, Brian, great, reser great yeah. research yeah. and very thank interesting and, and great explanation. Thank you very much thank for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us too. And 
We want you to stay tuned because we'll have a lot more from ACC 12.